Now, Lloyd, first of all, when's this exhibition going to take place? It's starting next week on the 14th and running through until the 1st of June. Um, that's Friday the 1st and that's going to be the last day that um, we're going to be accepting bids for, for the works. Okay, now look, these have been tucked away somewhere for quite a few years now. The Shays Elko has been closed for some time. How has this all come about? Um, well, I think the move from Elko's big house um, sort of um, got it started where the works were going to have to go in storage. And I think the family felt that it was such a shame to put them in storage and that they wanted um, people to enjoy the works. And that was what the artists needed to have their works seen as well. So um, they very generously said they'd donate them to us to have a, a bit of a fundraising auction, which would help the Arts Council. Um, and get the works into people's houses and establishments and get them seen again. And Elko, of course, was very, um, very much involved in the very early days of the Arts Council as well. Mm. So um, it, was, it was great that he can support us still all these years down the track. Well, the Chase Elko, of course, was a gallery as well, so obviously played a role in the, uh, in the lives and careers of many artists. And I understand that, you know, when you go through the list of artists that have donated or ha have put works here or, or that these works consist of. There's some quite significant names there, isn't there? There are, yeah. Um, well, Elko was sort of, in those early days, there was a lot of um, up-and-coming artists who are now, now established themselves. And really, Elko was very open to all, all artists and showed a lot of, a lot of new-coming artists' work. Um, so he was really non-judgmental about things. And I think that shows in this collection here, we've got a real mixed bag of work. There's some really good works, there's some really quirky works, mm. there's some quite out, out there works as well. Um, which I think is very pertinent of the time, of the early days. And I think this sort of, it was at those early days in the sort of uh, late 60s and early 70s where Nelson started establishing its name as, as an art centre. And I think Elko was pivotal in um, letting that happen. Right. You know, there's already been quite a bit of interest for this, hasn't there? We've had, yeah, quite a bit of interest, um, not just local, but we've, from people who have left Nelson and grew up here and have got fond memories of the, of the Shays. Um, yeah, from the North Island, as far as down as Queenstown, we've had people ringing up and wanting to bid. And because of that, we're sort of, I'm desperately trying to get it all online now, so I'm trying to get all the images online so that, um, so that we can accept um, bids by phone and by emails, and I will update the website each at the end of each day with the latest bidding so people can keep an eye on things and it's going to be the Arts Council Nelson website it will be the Arts Council Nelson website which is acn.org.nz now um, these are available via a silent auction so people that want to make a bid for these come down to the refinery art space obviously you can do it via email if you check out the website is that available just yet it, no it's not quite yet i'm still working on that it, it's i'm hoping it'll be up by by monday the 14th when the show goes up um there, there is a page up there at the moment but it's under construction so people can actually see the works at the moment but all the details are not there um and yeah it's people can come down anytime um the gallery's open and cast a vote or they can, if they're outside the region, so ring it through and I can give them a current total and add them, All right. add a bit for them. This is going to be a wonderful exhibition, isn't it? It's going to be a really interesting exhibition, yeah. It is mm. going to be a wonderful exhibition because I think there's so many associations people have mm. and there's so many different stories. Already I've heard lots of really interesting feedback from everyone who comes in and says, oh, everyone's got a particular memory, often a fun one, of the shows or their time with the shows. And, um, yeah, some of the works just sort of instantly bring back memories of that time.